Hi guys, this is Vidas and Usha. Let's start um, episode 69 of uh, As Vidas and Usha podcast now. And today's question was sent by Matt. And Matt, he has a problem with pedal accuracy, especially across different pedal boards, flat or curved. Um, so adjusting to different pedal boards, Osho, was that ever a problem for you? Yes, it was a problem. So I guess this is a problem for majority of organists, as you see. I guess so, yes. Mm -hmm. For me, too, I think, when I was a student, uh, whenever I discovered a different organ, pedal playing would suffer. At first, right? You would requ I would require maybe a few days at least to to adjust to a different pedal board. And how about you, Osha? How many days did you have to have at the beginning to feel comfortable with your pedals? <laughs> well, many days. Three, four, five? Yes, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, of course, when you are a beginner, it's very natural to suffer with pedal playing and adjusting to different pedals. Mm, but uh, what can we suggest uh, to facilitate this progress? Obviously, OSHA play more instruments, right? Yes. And do more like coordination exercises. What do you mean coordination? Well, play trio sonatas. Trio sonatas. Um, what if a person he has, you know, very s weak t pedal technique yet, m maybe not well developed? Do you think trio sonatas will be too difficult? Well, yes, if it's just a beginner, but you know, still at some point you will have to start to play trio sonatas. So maybe you could say trio texture, not yes, sonatas. That's true. Maybe t three voices. Take three voices in in your uh, in your piece. Uh, or how about hymns? Would that be helpful to develop hand and feet coordination at first? Yes. At the basic level. Right? Yes, definitely. It's very hard, for example, to play pedal part in the pedals, you know, bass line, and to play left hand only tenor voice. Tenor voice. It always gives a trouble for people. Because it's so hard to coordinate. If you can play it, then definitely you can play trio. Mm -hmm, simple trio. Because what happens in hymns is that uh, most of the time voices move in quarter notes. Yes. Or uh, in general equal note values. In trio sonatas you have all kinds of note values. So that's like a top level of advancement with, with hand and feet coordination. But you start, as Osha says, simply, Sim yes. simply with a simple technique, like a, like a, like a hymns. Yes, and you know, while adjusting to the pedal, it would be very nice that you would not exercise always on the same instrument. If you have a possibility, you know, switch between them. Practice one day on the flat pedal board and another day on a curved pedal board, if it's possible. That way it will be easier for you to adjust to a new organ and to a new pedal board. Organists are different. Uh, organist profession and, and uh, organ playing is different from piano playing, right? Because pianos are quite similar everywhere. Well, if you would ask the pianist, uh, he or she would definitely not agree with you, disagree with you. Of course, they would not. <laughs> they haven't. <laughs> seen the variety, a huge variety of organs. So uh, relatively similar, right? Well, yes, in our eyes, yes. In, a, in our eyes. But every organ is unique. Every organ, maybe there are uh, two identical organs, but they are po positioned in a different space. And that's already difference, right? Different feelings. For example, for example, Osha, uh, let's take a... Uh, uh, you know this uh, 1776 Casparini organ yes. at the Holy Ghost Church. And recently, 
um, in Rochester, New York, they built a replica of this of this instrument in Christ Church, Rochester, um, which means that they have a complete functioning uh, uh, new instrument, but built in the style of Casparini, like exact or a very similar instrument to that Holy Ghost. You th do you think, Osha, that it's exactly the same as Holy Ghost? Definitely not, because not. the space is so different. Because the organ is new, first yes. of all. Um, Holy Ghost Church in Vilnius has much larger acoustics. Mm -hmm. And the organ is newly built, so the, all the parts are, are sort of functioning different, differently from the original Baroque period that we have here in Vilnius. And I think it has a different tuning too. So far, yes, because we don't have the temperament problem has not been solved yet here in Vilnius. So yes, it's it's different. Although the two instruments are supposed to be the same or, or almost the same, and so don't don't despair when you encounter different organs. And you feel like uh, like you make a lot of mistakes with your feet, uh, right? Uh, it's just a matter of of, of getting uh, as many organs under your belt as possible. Yes, it will get easier in time. Uh, how many instruments do you have to visit and try, Osha, first to to break to the next le level to get to the next stage? Probably ten. And every ten instrument would be like a small breakthrough, right? Yes. I think that that's a very valid approach for people. Okay. Uh, we hope this was useful to you guys. Uh, please send us more of your questions. And uh, you can do that by subscribing to our blog at organduo.lt if you have done so already and replying to our messages. That would be the easiest way to send us your questions. We love helping to grow as an organist. Okay, guys, this was with us. And Osha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. <laughs>